Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Windows 11's humble snipping tool has undergone a couple of changes over the last year or two, where Microsoft has been rolling out a couple of new features for the snipping tool. And it seems that the snipping tool is going to be getting another useful function over and above the recent uh, screen recording that um, Microsoft rolled out for the snipping tool that lets you capture your screen in a video format, um, which rolled out with one of the previous moment updates. Now, if we just head over to a GIF provided by Phantom of Earth over on X, um, Phantom of Earth has discovered and spotted a new feature where it's mentioned that coming soon to, to snipping tool, you'll be able to add shapes such as circles and arrows to images you're editing. So this is really giving me a couple of Microsoft Paint kind of vibes, um, for want of a better word. So you can see now you can add various shapes to your screenshots from within the actual snipping tool, which will include triangles, circles, squares, and so on. And the new shape options are also accessible through a dedicated shapes uh, category within the snipping tools toolbar. So um, this may be handy, especially if you are taking screenshots and just wanted a bit of added functionality, or maybe you are given a presentation and just want to add some different components to a screenshot to be used in a presentation. So the options are limitless. Um, and just wanted to bring this to your attention because this has been spotted uh, in version 11.2312.33.0. So um, this obviously is something Microsoft is working on. And uh, um, this should, according to Phantom Ocean 3, Phantom of Earth over on X, this should be rolling out um, to the stable version um, soon. And obviously soon is relative, but I would say that I would say by moment five, which is rolling out, um, starting possibly the end of February, we should start seeing uh, these um, this new functionality being made available in the snipping tool, if not earlier. But obviously, um, I'll keep you guys posted. And if this does become available uh, in the stable versions, a snipping tool, um, which by the way will appear right here, and um, that little new um, feature is going to be available right there as a toggle. You'll be able to. Uh, Basically, just uh, click on that toggle, and uh, um, that means that you'll have that added functionality added to the snipping tool, and I'll let you guys know if and when that becomes available. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.